Scorponok has led his men from planet Master to planet Earth. They are traveling non-stop at high speed so that they can get to Earth as quickly as possible. However, they have some bad luck as they get caught up in a whirlpool of meteorites on the way. My lord, we'd better avoid the meteorites. They look menacing. But that means a much longer journey. But, sir... We're not going to waste any more time. Go straight through the whirlpool. Fortress Maximus, who's tracking the Decepticons, has also been caught up in the whirlpool. It's a whirlpool of meteorites. What are we going to do, sir? We can't take a chance. It's safer to avoid them. Meanwhile, in the middle of the whirlpool, the Decepticons are trying desperately to get out. I told you this wouldn't have happened if we'd avoided it. Now look what's going on. Just shut up. I don't like your attitude at all, six shot. Oh. Oh. It's no problem. You're not supposed to go near the radon cannons. You don't have to tell anyone. I only wanted to have a look. Anyway, it was you who wanted to experience the feeling of being a warrior. So don't forget that. But I've never been inside the radon cannons. There's the entrance. Now go on. It'll be all right, Danny. I'll keep a lookout for you. Go on. But... There's something wrong with the connection between the radon cannons and the magnetic systems. Look! Hmm? The Decepticon ship! Got you. We gotta stop them. Everyone prepare for battle. Fortress Maximus' spaceship is now made ready to go to war. <gasps> the door's closed! Oh no! Danny! Oh, no! Ah! Danny! My lord, the left side of our attack system is damaged. Oh, darn it. Six shot. Go and destroy the enemy's defense system right away. What, me? Don't you question my orders. This is a good chance to prove yourself to me. Go on and cover for us quickly. All right, whatever you say. Burn fall!
The electric system on the radon cannons is about to explode. Right, then eject it. Full speed to Earth. What about Six Shot? He's still out there. Never mind him. I've always wanted to get rid of him anyway. Our target is Earth now. Yes, my lord. Where are you going, Decepticons? Bad news! Danny's gone to the left side of the radon cannons! What? Oh, no. How did that happen? I'll tell you everything later. Let's go and save him. Let's not waste time now. Go and help Danny quickly. Yes, sir. Don't worry about it, Chrome Dome. We'll keep track of Scorpion. I'll... Sure shot, Crosshair. Come on, let's go. <laughs> To rescue Danny, the robot train has also joined in the search. At this moment, inside the radon cannon, Danny is being carried away by the whirlpool to a strange planet. This is Planet Pinner. It's a planet filled with strange beings. Its atmosphere is similar to that of Earth. But we mustn't forget about Sixshot, who has also been carried in the whirlpool to the same planet. Huh? That belongs to the Autobots. Your name's Danny, isn't it? Uh, oh, just relax. I'm not interested in killing little boys. Why should I believe you? You're a Decepticon! Okay, then. Think what you like. Huh? I've heard of the stone men from Planet Pinner. I thought it was only a legend, but this must be true. Thanks! The rainbow! No, not the rainbow shield. Rainbow shield? We're in serious trouble if we're trapped in the rainbow shield. The rainbow shield that Danny and Sixshot saw is a transparent shield which is reflected as a beam. The stone men have done this. Meanwhile, the Autobot spaceship is desperately looking for Danny. I've got it! What? Look at this. When two of those whirlpools meet up, at the point of contact, a third whirlpool will be created. Look! Are you saying Danny has entered the third whirlpool? That's right. Commander! Okay, contact the robot train now. We'll go to the third whirlpool and search for him. As soon as the Autobots had contacted the robot train, they headed for the third whirlpool at once. On planet Pinner, Danny and Sixshot are trapped by the rainbow shield. Do you have any food with you, little boy? I've got some space rations here. Eat them up quickly. I don't feel like eating. You have to eat, you know. Uh, oh. You need all your strength to defend yourself from the stone men, or you will die out here. Danny, I've made these cakes especially for you. They're very really nutritious. Try it. Huh? Thank you, Mommy. I put a lot of work into this. You better finish them. Mother. Hey, you scared little boy. Of course not. <laughs> what about you, Sixshot? You hungry? Don't worry. 
I've got plenty of reserves inside me. I always prepare myself for the unexpected. What are you looking at? Amazing! Uncle Sixshot, you're completely different from what you were before, you know. I'm different? That's right, because you saved my life. You could have just left me here and gone on your own, but you didn't, you see? <laughs> Don't overestimate me. You may become disappointed yet. I understand. He's so kind. How can he be a warrior for the Decepticons? <coughs> the enemy! They're coming! Quick! Danny, are you all right? I am. You did very well back there. <clears throat> now the two of us have got to find a way to get out of this rainbow shield somehow. At the same time, the Autobots are having a difficult time of it as they're experiencing a space hurricane. This is an extremely dangerous phenomenon in deep space which could mean death for them. To save Danny, we must break through the hurricane's edge. Hang on, everyone. We'll do our best now. Okay, proceed. The Autobot ship is heading straight for the whirlpool of meteorites. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. 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 oh, no. If we can't find Danny, we find him, he's dead. Commander, what are we going to say to Sparkle and Carrie? What are we going to say to them, sir, if we can't rescue Danny? Just calm down, Wheelie. Danny will be all right, I'm quite sure of it. On planet Pinner, Danny and Sixshot, in order to find an escape route, have managed to sneak into the Stone Men's base, but they're faced with a strange scene. It's true, there is life on this planet after all. Life on this planet? Their food supply is made up of lost spaceships and fallen meteorites. Once these things are burned, they turn into a kind of food for them, you see. This is food? That's right. Watch out! It's crashing into us! Steer the ship away! Fortress Maximus' ship, together with the rocks from the whirlpool, are sucked into the center of the hurricane. We must destroy this planet before we can escape from the Rainbow Shield. You want to destroy this planet? Mm-hmm. Where's the commander? Why isn't the spaceship here yet? The Decepticons aren't here either. I suppose they won't come and rescue us now. Yeah. Listen, if they don't rescue us, then we'll have to think of a way to get out of here. Right, Danny? <laughs> well, pull yourself together. We have to remain calm. At times like this, we must be strong. I am from the Decepticons, and you from the Autobots. Is it really fate that enemies have ended up together? What a joke this is. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, I don't know. But I get this feeling like I've known you for a long time. It's really incredible, isn't it, little boy? I... I feel the same as well. You do? You're the first of your kind to make friends with me. I'm honored. Thank you, Danny. You know something, Danny? You're very kind, and I feel really good talking to you. You know that? After listening to what you said, I feel much better. Well, that's wonderful. You don't have to worry. I can promise you this. As soon as we leave here, I'll take you back to Earth. Thanks a lot! Disappeared. Oh no, we've been surrounded by them. Look! The stone men want to attack us. 
Danny, you've got to take shelter quick. Go on. You must take shelter over there. Go, Danny. <laughs> Six shot. <sighs> Meanwhile, the Autobot spaceship is trapped in the hurricane. Think of something quick or we'll be torn to pieces. Full speed, let's try and break through the atmosphere. Darn. Try using the freezing beam to freeze the atmosphere. Freezing beam, fire! We've done it! Quick, let's get out through the gap! After emerging from the hurricane, they suddenly see Planet Pinner in front of them. Look, it seems all the meteorites are floating towards that planet. So Danny might have gone there too. <gasps> then let's us go there. It's a huge stone man. Grand form! Danny, get up here. Okay! Danny, hide over there for a while. Okay. Transform! Found their weak spot. Transform! We've won! Transform! That's great, six shot! It's the Autobot spaceship! I told you they'd come for me! They wouldn't leave me to die here! Let him go, six shot. What are you trying to do to Danny? Just hold it! Huh? He's a friend. Six shot saved my life, or else I wouldn't be here now. He saved your life? It's the truth! Now Danny's safe and sound. I'll leave him with you. Huh? Please don't be like that! Hmm. <sighs> Chrome Dome? Danny, goodbye now. Transform! Six shot! Six shot, don't go! So finally, Uncle Sixshot is going back to the Decepticons. You know, if it wasn't for the war, we'd be very good friends.
What's the reason for this war? Why can't we just be friends? Danny's sadness is felt amongst all the Autobot warriors. But in order to protect the Earth, they have to fight on with the Decepticons. Hmm? Commander, the Decepticon spaceship has arrived in the solar system. Solar system? I know why that is. They're going to launch an attack on Earth. Did you find Danny? Yes, we found him. He's safely back with us now. That's good. Okay, I'll continue to keep a watch on the Decepticons. We must protect the Earth, no matter what happens. The final and ultimate battle between the Autobots and the Decepticons is getting closer all the time.